me is mr jacob uh, he is uh, the executive director of us ibc welcome to beyond sir my first question to you is uh, about the space cooperation what kind of cooperation are you looking at when it comes to india us partnership in the frontier which is a new frontier in relationship well firstly thank you for for having me um us and india space relationship is actually on a, on a on a new trajectory It began in the middle of 2022 when uh, President Biden and Prime Minister Modi <clears throat> announced an initiative for critical emerging technologies. That initiative covers things like cyber and AI, quantum, semiconductors, and other sorts of supply chains. Um, also, importantly, includes uh, commercial space. Um, the the actual ICED initiative, as it's often is called, was formally launched in January of. 2023 and over the last year and a half has been implemented the space component has um is is through a particular initiative there's a commercial working group where the governments have been been spending some time kind of considering how they can support private sector interactions whether that be on the research side or supporting industry or technology or markets and that's what we're here today in Bangalore to talk about um and so interestingly um earlier in the day uh, the isro chairman somnath and the us ambassador garcetti they really helped set the stage of the importance of of strategic technology and and the the real criticality of commercial space specifically within that of course the directionally we know that the two governments are also working together india has signed uh, the artemis accords which is a grouping of 40 countries like minded nations that are looking to explore the lunar surface and mars and beyond and they've also agreed to send an indian astronaut into uh, the the iss both leaders today referenced those initiatives and said that there was some progress and meanwhile on the sidelines we spent a lot of time working with industry on both sides to see what we can do to drive the partnership from a commercial space point of view on the commercial frontier uh, what kind of cooperation you are looking at uh, with india in a sense that what kind of cooperation the american companies are looking with the uh, uh, indian side yeah well two things i would share one is i've been involved in india's uh, space environment for over a decade now and i've never seen so much vibrancy so much dynamism so much excitement and frankly funding and creation and innovation of products and services to use in the commercial space arena i do think it's important to note that the united states and india are in slightly different um trajectories or maybe that's not the right word but slightly different places when it comes to commercial space in two ways one the us as as a country has been working on its commercial space enterprise oh for almost 40 years now and realistically india is in four or five year phase there's been a lot of reforms recently but still very nascent in in how they approach commercial space in that sense the the two countries and our industries look at it slightly different the second piece is that the us space market simply is just much larger and so india is trying to figure out um how to leverage what's going on here and how to leverage that with its international partners there's a clear push on the government of india to open up the market to utilize the power and potential of india's commercial space its technology its uh, skills and uh, frankly the creativity and energy in that startup community and so where we're at right now is you're starting to see companies partner in in incrementally you're seeing some american investment coming in funding indian startups that are filling particular nar- market niches whether that's electronic propulsion or or launch of small and medium sized satellites or geospatial data analysis those sorts of things and you see a lot of indian companies building and trying to sell those products to partners um in the government in the indian market but also to uh partners around the world mm-hmm. uh essentially uh my final question to you is uh, what kind of practical cooperation that can be done business to business uh, between the two sides uh, when it comes to the space uh, uh, frontier as uh, it says from seabed to space the cooperation is large mm-hmm. when it comes to india us relationship uh, but in terms of practical cooperation what we can expect in next few uh, months perhaps some years yeah well so so two things to think about there 
Um, firstly, commercial space is its own segment, but it's also not, meaning that there's a lot of things that are in other segments, whether it's aviation or telecommunications or defense technologies, things like that. And, and they have a space application um, or technology embedded in it. The second thing is that ultimately business is about people to people. It's about understanding products and services, how they fit into a particular value chain. And today's meeting in, in particular, when you pull together the, the private sectors from both uh, countries, and they really have an opportunity to meet each other, to understand what they're doing and why, those are the types of germinations that ultimately will result in business deals whether that's buying a product, whether that's an investment, whether that's some other sort of association. And so what you'll start to see is from the conversations today and others, you know, here and in New Delhi and in elsewhere, um, you'll start to see a lot more business transactions happening. A lot of these are going to be fairly small initially, um, a few products that might go into a platform, some services that might be utilized by a, another corporate um, and so they're not, they, they may not receive kind of the big headlines, but it's certainly happening. I heard of people um, today that actually have deals, that are talking about deals, and that are considering new ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, the chances of uh, Indian sites sending an American uh, satellite in the space, do you think they're high in next few years, months? Well, well, certainly going forward, and I don't want to say days, months, or years, but I mean, the, you know, in, in, in days, there's a planned uh, private sector uh, launch by Agnicor, which would be an exciting, um, I guess, proof of concept for a startup Indian company. And, and, and certainly American launch providers are looking at launching Indian satellites. These things are already happening. And so you're going to see a lot more of them. Um, at the same time, there's a lot of things that are going on behind the scenes, you know, components and supply chains and smaller deals that that you just, you know, again, don't make headlines. Mm -hmm. Well, on that note, thank you so much, sir, for speaking to me on. My pleasure.